everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a Valentine's Day card using this die from Technic Tuesday called Lacy Heart. It's brand new. It came out with your January release. So I'm going to run it through the Big Shot machine. I just grabbed some scratch paper that I had. I believe it's 110 pound cardstock. I will actually have the supplies listed in the description box. So once I remove it from the Big Shot machine, you're going to see that it's a really intricate die. So what you do to kind of get it out is to grab a needle. I just used a, just a general needle and poke it through the holes to loosen up. And then I'm just going to grab the needle and pull it through the edge and then pop it out. Pretty simple. A bonus we get are these extra die cut flowers. So I'm just going to pop them out and save them and use them for another upcoming craft. So we're going to do some watercoloring with some distressed inks. And I've grabbed some Canson watercolor paper and taped it down with some painter's tape onto a clipboard. I'm going to turn on some music and join you after that's done. In the final drawing with my heat gun. Want to add a little bit of texture to the background. What's great about Distress Ink is it does become reactive again when it gets water on it. So I grabbed some packing bubble, added some water on top of it, and now I'm pressing it down. So I let it sit for about 30 seconds and then I'm just checking it again and it looks like it's good. So I lift it up and zooming in for you. I let it sit for maybe another 15, 10 or 15 seconds and now I'm dabbing off the excess with my paper towel. And then after that, I'm going to hit it with my heat tool again to set that. The next part of the video actually kind of shows my thought process. I figured I would leave it in there. A lot of times when I am planning out cards, I think about it. And so we're not going to do the sentiment until the very end. I'm actually using the stamp set from Technic Tuesday called I Like You. Unfortunately, the stamp set is retired, but maybe you can find it on eBay or Amazon. But I just wanted to measure out to make sure that it would fit. So I grabbed our heart and decided I wanted to emboss it with gold embossing. So got some Versamark ink, which is very tacky, and um, added some embossing powder on it. And I'm just doing it one side at a time. Hit that with my heat tool, and then I moved on to the next side. And I repeated those steps for about two more times. So in total, I actually embossed the heart about three times. I wanted it to have some weight to be pretty substantial. Now it's time to adhere the heart to the background. I'm using this Kiritake Zig 2A glue to adhere. When I was doing this, I'm not sure what I was thinking. I was probably spacing out, but I was adding the glue to the heart directly on the background, so I got some glue on that, but I was able to kind of rub it off in some spots I ended up fixing. So then I'm just kind of lining it up before I press down all the way until I liked where I had it. And then I just grabbed a stamp block and let it sit on the heart while I was mounting the sentiment on my Fiskars Compact Press. The sentiment says you make my heart smile, so I wanted to use two inks, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and Memento Rhubarb Stalk. Just carefully ink them both up, and now I'm just lining it up and pressing it onto the card. So just lifting that up and decided I wanted to round the corners of the card, so grab my Fiskars Corner Rounder and round it all four sides. Then I grabbed some scotch mounting tape to adhere to the back of the card. I really like using scotch mounting tape because it lays really flat so you can put it in an envelope and mail it and it distributes everything evenly. And also you can use your hands to rip it without using any scissors. So I'm basically just taking off all the backing and centering it and lining up before I press it down completely. And that about finishes the card. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up as well as if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Thanks again. Bye. Thank you.